Five date night outfits to feel confident in your curves with a beautiful harmony of subtle sexiness, chicness, and personality. Welcome to my channel, my name is Priska Jordan, and today I wanna to show you five of my favorite date night looks, how I styled them, paired with five of my favorite date night events. It's February, so it's obviously the month of Valentine's Day, the month of love, and I don't know if you celebrate Valentine's Day, but we don't really, it's not a thing in our household, but we do celebrate our love, our relationship with date nights all throughout the year. So hopefully this video inspires you with date night ideas and date night outfits. The first three outfits are going to be dresses and they just all happen to be the same color but different styles. And the last two outfits are jeans outfits so let's go ahead and get started with that first outfit. The first outfit I want to style for you is based off of this silky slip dress and this dress has been so versatile for me. I'll try to pop in a few pictures of how I've worn it for fall and winter, but it's such a romantic texture. It's a silk and it's actually a really easy piece to care for considering it's silk and it's at a really great price point. So I will link that and any available items down below. And this is something that I want to make an outfit for based on a dinner date outfit. Now I did just say think outside the box and don't just do dinner dates, but we all go on dinner dates. It's definitely our most common date. But with this, I do like to dress up a little bit because it just puts me in a better mood. So this silk dress is for when you want to feel a little bit more sultry and sexy. And although it's a really good base piece, we definitely need to dress it up because it looks really plain here. To style this outfit, I'm adding a suede brown jacket and the contrasting tone of it, of the moto style jacket with something that is very soft and feminine like a silk dress, I think adds an interesting contrast and juxtaposition which keeps the outfit showing some personality. And if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you already know I'm adding a belt to cinch in the waist and really create that hourglass figure with this dress. For shoes, I have styled this exact outfit for spring and summer with block heel sandals. But since it's a little bit cooler out, I thought I would add these black suede boots that are knee high. And again, I'm having suede up top, silk in the middle, and suede on the bottom of this outfit. And here is a style tip for you. When you pair brown and black together well, make sure that you have one piece that is the main feature and the other piece that is the accent. So for this one, the brown is the main feature of this jacket. It is acting as a color, whereas the black is acting as a neutral or more of the background of the outfit. And if you can pair brown and black together in styling and do it well, it is next level. So try to experiment with that and have a little bit of fun with those colors. This outfit is really starting to come together, but to add a little bit more drama because it does feel like a more dramatic romantic outfit, I'm going to change the part of my hair, move it to the side so that my hair is long and flowy on one side and I'm showing a little bit more neck on the other side. The next thing is I wanna switch out the necklace for a longer necklace because of this V neckline and that's going to complement it because I have a diamond shaped pendant. The next addition is to add a darker creamy lipstick and if I was going on a date right this moment, I would add a smoky eye to this look. I think that would bring a lot of character to it. And the last thing I want to do is add a black velvet clutch and these textures in this outfit are such a sultry, beautiful feeling. So let me know what you think about this final look. If you're enjoying the video so far, please like it and subscribe to my channel for more style tips and outfit ideas. The second outfit I wanna show you is based off of a sweater dress and I'm wearing it today because it is so luxurious and comfortable, but it's also beautiful. And this is for if you are wanting to host a date night at home. One of our favorite date nights is having a charcuterie night. And this is just something that can bring a little bit more romance into your home. 
This sweater dress is from Modern Citizen, which is an internet brand that I have been loving lately. I've ordered several pieces from them and they have such good quality and tailoring in their pieces, so I definitely recommend it. This dress is such a rarity because it is so cozy but also so chic. It hugs in all the right places, but it has this beautiful viscose blend fabric that is stretchy and breathable. And of course, it's in my favorite length, a midi length. The only addition I'm going to make to this outfit is adding slippers and that's just because my feet get really cold. So here's the final outfit. It is the perfect blend of cozy and comfortable with chic and sexy. And I hope this inspires you to enjoy a cozy date night at home. Actually, let me see if I can make this one shoulder because I've never tried. I, let's see. Oh yeah, that's actually really nice. Ooh, I really like that. I think I might wear it this way the rest of the day. For this third date night outfit, I was inspired by some of our dates wandering through museums and that is such a good date night to us. Like we really enjoy art and culture and that being a springboard of conversation. So I would recommend that if you haven't already wandered through a museum for a romantic date night. This dress is from Farm Rio, which is one of my favorite brands right now. They have such beautiful, rich colors and loud prints, and I love that about it. It's a midi length dress, go figure, <laughs> with a square neckline, which is very flattering for the decolletage. And it has a smocked bodice just in the back, which is really flattering for the waist and creates an hourglass effect. This dress already has so much personality, but I'm going to add some contrast by adding my rich brown leather boots. And these are shiny, which brings some depth into this outfit. Next, I'm going to swap the necklace for this shorter one, which is more complimentary for the higher neckline. Then I'm combing out my waist for a more casual feeling and brushing them back so that I can emphasize the decolletage. And lastly, I'm finishing it off with a brown leather clutch in a smaller size because the pattern of this dress is so bold. And also if you're walking through a museum, you don't want a chunky tote, you know, hitting things. And here's the final look. I think it turned out so lovely and I can see myself actually wearing this to a number of different events. For the final two outfits, I'm switching over to pants because let's be honest, sometimes it's just more practical and it definitely is for this fourth outfit. This is for a date night to top golf, a group date night maybe. That's always really fun for us and you get to be very playful. So if you're feeling playful and casual, then I would recommend that for a date night. The base of this outfit includes a camisole and jeans, but not just any, I have high-waisted skinny jeans, which are going to emphasize your curvaliciousness. And the camisole is a silk camisole with a V-neck, which is just a hint of sexy. The first thing I wanna do is tuck in this camisole because it's going to flatter my curves and my proportions a lot better. The next thing I want to do is add a really cool printed jacket and that's going to add some personality and subtle texture. And I'm going to finish it off with some really cool sneakers and I'm not talking about your yard sneakers or your old gym sneakers, I'm talking about something a little bit more snazzy. Now if you don't have a pair of sneakers that you really like to wear in a more casual environment, then maybe consider buying some. I just recently started buying casual chic sneakers and it's because I realized my lifestyle is very casual. I work from home and so having sneaker outfits that aren't aren't just old gym outfits, but are really something chic and special, is complimentary for my normal schedule and my everyday life. I tend to spend more money on dressy pieces in my closet, but I don't get dressy very often, so I've realized I need to re-budget that towards more casual pieces, and since doing that, it's like there's an alignment between my style and my lifestyle, which makes it a lot easier to get dressed in the mornings. And maybe you need to consider redistributing your clothing budget towards more casual pieces if you only have office pieces. I just recently published a video on athleisure. So if athleisure is something that you wear regularly but you want to up the style and chic level on, then check out that video next. 
Anyway, going back to this outfit, I wanna add a flirty ponytail that stays out of the way for my killer golf swing. And then swap out my necklace for a longer one that complements the V neckline. And lastly, I'm adding a sporty chic backpack to complete the look. So this is the final look and it's so well suited for a playful day either to top golf or the arcade or something a little bit more sporty. The fifth and final look was inspired by a favorite date night that I had with my husband to our favorite band's concert. Actually, we've had a few really great concerts that we've been to. I love live music experiences. It brings me into the present moment, and it's just so much fun to enjoy those songs that we always sing along to live with our favorite band. So this is an outfit based off of these black flare jeans and I love how flared legs really balance out curvy hips. It's still sexy but it also creates really good balance within the outfit. And they're high-waisted so if you wear high-waisted jeans it's going to create more of an hourglass effect and hug your curves in all the right places. Now the top has a liquid shimmer texture and it's actually a bodysuit. I know bodysuits aren't really that popular anymore, but I find them to be very practical still, especially if you're going to be standing up and sitting down a lot, like at a concert or church or any kind of event like that. I'm adding a belt here, which isn't the usual reason I add a belt. Usually I add a belt to create the hourglass effect, but these high-waisted jeans are already doing that. The reason I'm adding a belt here is because of the hardware, the gold buckle is such a nice feature to this outfit. For the rest of this outfit, there's two different options to complete it, and I'm going to show you both. It's sort of like a choose your character moment. The first one is with black boots and a fedora for more of a mysterious vibe. And just a style tip, if you wear the same color footwear as you do pants, it's going to elongate your look. So that was the purpose of this one, to create a taller looking outfit. And this is a mysterious vibe, but still very dance worthy. The second option to complete this look is with colorful boots and a handbag for more of a festive vibe. So hopefully that gives you a couple of ideas for outfits if you're going to a concert, just different ways you can style it. In this video, I styled three different dresses and if you like styling dresses, then I have a video that is going to help you as well. It's called Fix Your Mini, Mini and Maxi Dresses with Better Proportions and I will link that in the box here. I'll see you next week with a brand new video. Until then, take care.